Hey folks, Philly Boy J here back with another recipe and today I'm going to show you guys how I make my homemade soul food style French toast. This is a really good French toast recipe so I want you guys to try it out. The full recipe can be found on my website phillyjcooking.com. There you will find the exact measurements, detailed instructions, and any additional information you need to know regarding this recipe. Let's talk about the ingredients that you're going to need. You're going to need some unsalted butter. You're going to need some regular whole milk, pure vanilla extract, a few spices, four large size eggs, and some thick slices of bread. When you're making French toast, you want to use thick slices of bread. So make sure you have and you're using thick slices. All right, let's move on to the first step. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is combine all the ingredients. Make sure you're using a square sides dish. The first thing that you're going to add to the dish or whatever you're using is the four large size eggs. Then you're gonna add your milk. You really don't have to add the ingredients in any particular order, actually. Just add everything to the dish, or whatever you're using. And you want to make sure that you beat the eggs up really well. Because you want to make sure that the egg white part is completely mixed in with the egg yolks because if it isn't it will show on the French toast and it don't look well so you want to beat this in really well I think a fork is better than a whisk because it removes all of the egg whites better in my opinion okay so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a skillet or a pan you're gonna place it over medium heat and you're going to let the pan preheat you want to make sure that it's hot before you add the French toast to it. Okay? So make sure that the skillet or pan is hot. Because I'm going to be frying or cooking four French toasts at a time, I'm going to use two tablespoons of butter. So I'm gonna add the butter. Okay, and so while the butter is melting and the skillet is preheating, you want to go ahead and coat your bread with the egg mixture. Now, what you want to do before coating each slice of bread is whisk in the mixture so that the bread is evenly coated with the spices. Because what tends to happen is the spices all kind of go to the center of the mixture. So you want to whisk it like this. And then really quickly get your bread, coat one side, coat the other, and let the excess egg mixture drain off a little bit, and then sit it to the side exactly like that. And you want to do it quickly, okay? So just to make sure that your bread has a even coating of spices. You want to whisk the egg mixture in first. So I'm going to do that with all my slices of bread and then I'll get back with you guys once I'm done. Okay. 
Okay, so here are my eight slices of bread. I coated it with the egg mixture. And as you can see, they're evenly seasoned, I guess you would say. What you don't want to see and what you tend to see a lot of times with French toast is that there are more spices in one area than the other. And you don't want that. You want your French toast to be evenly seasoned, okay? And as you can see, because we whisk in the mixture each time before coating the bread, the bread is evenly seasoned with the spices, all right? You see an equal amount of spices all over the bread. And that's the way you want your French toast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a spatula. And I'm going to lift the bread up like this. And place it into the skillet. And if you have a big skillet, you can cook maybe four at a time like I'm doing. If not, you'll probably have to cook two at a time. Okay, so I'm going to quickly add four slices. It's important to make sure that they are not touching each other. Because it will be very hard to flip them over if they're touching each other. Add my third slice here. And can I add a fourth? I think I can. I'm gonna try. There's my four. Okay. So let them fry on one side until they're a light brown color and then flip them over. I don't really give a time because everybody's stove is different and it really depends on the skillet or pan that you're using so i would say it takes typically about four to five minutes to brown on each side but once you add the second batch because the skillet is really hot at that point it takes less time to cook on each side or brown on each side okay so the first batch that you add typically takes about four to five minutes to brown on each side and then the second and third batch takes even less about three to four minutes or even two to three minutes okay so i'm going to let the french toast brown on each side then i'm going to remove it and that's pretty much it all right so i'll show you guys how it looks or how you want it to look on each side Okay, folks, so this is the first batch of French toast that I'm about to remove. What I did was I kept flipping it until it got to the color that I wanted it on both sides. And as you can see, they're nice and lightly golden brown. So I'm going to remove them now. And add the second batch of French toast. And as I said, the second batch shouldn't take as long to brown because the skillet is hotter than it was when we added the first batch of French toast. You see? <laughs> Butter wasn't sizzling like this the first time, was it? Okay, so what I forgot to mention was the pressing that a lot of people do to their French toast. Do not press your French toast. You want them to be thick. You don't want flat French toast. So just remember not to press down on a French toast. That can be kind of tempting sometimes. I don't know why we love to do that. Maybe it's like a mental thing. But pressing down on it is not going to somehow infuse more flavor into the French toast. So... Don't press down on it. Just let it cook on each side. And like I said, keep flipping it until each side is as brown as you like your French toast. All right. So I'm going to cook the second batch. And this time I will get back with you when they're all done. I just forgot to mention that. You can't press on them. You can't press on them. French toast is not something you want to press on. You know, I press on a lot of things but <laughs> let me stop 
French toast isn't, all right? <laughs> you don't want to press, don't, don't press too deep on it, all right? All right, I'll get back with you guys when they're done. Okay, folks, and there goes your French toast. Again, this recipe is the bomb. It is the bomb. This is French toast Philly style. Philly boy representing Philly. Giving you the best. I said the best. French toast in the whole wide world. Don't nobody make homemade French toast like Philly boy Jay. They just don't make it like Philly boy Jay. I'll pay you to find somebody to make French toast that look like this. I said I'll pay you. I'll pay you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drizzle a little melted butter over this French toast here. Just like that. And I'm going to top it with a lot of syrup, like that. Hope you guys enjoy this recipe. It is the perfect breakfast for a girl or guy that you're trying to impress. You want to show them that you know how to cook, make it look like that. And uh, y'all might be doing something at the end of the night. I'm just trying to say. Just trying to say. I would know. I'm just trying, I'm just trying to say. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Philly Boy J. Later.